wanna be anybody else. Hey guys, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be doing a product review video for you guys, and I'm super excited for this video. So the two products that I'm reviewing in this video for you guys are really high rated products that are like highly raved about like through Instagram and through YouTube and just all their social media and I finally got them in my hands and I'm super excited so I actually had these products for about like two weeks now maybe two and a half weeks and I just kind of wanted when I got them I wanted to see how the shipping process went and just basically I wanted to play with the products and use them a couple of times before I actually sat down and did review, bleh, a review product for you guys so the two products that I'm going to be showing you guys today is first the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and let me just tell you, oh my gosh, this product is amazing. And mine's is in the color Dolce. I think that's, I believe that's how you say it. I hope that's how you say it. But it's super cute. The packaging is super cute. And then the next product I'm known is the Morphe 350 palette. And I know this product has to be completely raved about. It's all over Instagram and every single Instagram makeup video there is. And this is just the 350 one, as you guys could see there. And I'm super excited to review these videos to you guys. So I'm going to start out with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. So this is just what it looks like and it's super cute. I like the packaging and it has like this gold print around it and then this silver shiny lid which is I think it just topped it off. So I'm basically going to start with how the shipping went. So with shipping I ordered it off the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and it was $18 on there. And I believe they're like $20 in Sephora if I'm wrong. I went to Sephora and I believe that's how much I've seen it there. So... If you can, order it off Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then the shipping, it actually took like quite a while. It took like two weeks to get here, surprisingly. Um, so when I got it, I ordered it like I believe on a Monday. And I got it like almost like way close to the end of the month. But it still came. It was repackaged very nicely. And everything in it was super nicely. So then I used the product the next day. And this is where the fun part starts. So uh, the product was really pretty when I first put it on. It was super creamy and soft. And it's a matte one too. So it dries like matte, obviously. So after like it starts to dry, it tends to get like sticky. More of sticky more than like rough and hard and cracky. It wasn't like that. It was more so sticky. And I don't know if it was because it was new and I haven't like mixed it in yet and or whatever but it was more so a sticky and it didn't feel like like comforting like it first did when you put it on but it looks super pretty once it dries and the other thing is I have a swatch of it right here if you guys can see it's really 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 pretty and it's super on camera it looks about the same color but but once it gets on your lips, it is so much more lighter. I don't know if it's just my lips. I don't know. Nothing ever works for me. I'm actually wearing a different lip color right now, so I can't show you guys. But it's actually lighter on your lips. I don't know. I'm guessing maybe it's just my lips. But it actually appears lighter than the swatch does than I guess it does in the bottle. Which is a bit disappointing because I usually like more darker colors rather than lighter colors. Don't get me wrong. The color is super still pretty. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see a flood load of them. But... I feel like it's kind of like a different way it could knock off of what you thought it was going to be. But it's like more of a peachy color when it gets on more of peachy and pinkish color rather than this like pretty dark pink. Like not really dark but like nudish pink. It's more like of a peach pink so yeah. Um, when you take it out of the bottle this is what it looks like. The wand is super nice. I mean it's not nothing fancy but it's just a basic wand. Let me show you guys. That's what it looks like right there. And then this is how the color looks. So yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, that's the negative about it. It's It feels really sticky after it dries. And I don't know if all of them are like that because this is my first Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. But it's not the complete matching color. It's still cute. It's still cute. Actually, I have the box right here. This is what, that's basically what the color, I guess, I guess it kind of looks like that, more of a peach color. But yeah, um, a positive about it, it's, it's really pigmented, don't get me wrong, it's super pigmented for the color that it is. Um, it looks, it looks really nice, I mean, if you could go with a sticky filling, then it looks really pretty and nice. It doesn't make your lips, like, look all chapped and crusted, like most matte lipsticks do, but I think it looks really nice and it appears really nice. So, I mean, I would recommend it, I would recommend it if you're okay with it feeling a little sticky. A trick I've been trying actually is putting concealer under my lips, 
under my lips before I put my lipstick over it and then it automatically makes it feel less sticky. So if I do that trick every day, it goes pretty good. But yeah, this is just basically what the product's like and I would rate this a 9 out of a 10. And I think it's a pretty great product. It's a good run for your money. I mean, it's $18 for a, a lip a liquid lipstick. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, if you go to ColourPop or whatever, you could probably get the same quality for cheaper. But I also love this, and it's super pretty. So, yes, I would recommend this product. And, yeah, I think it's a good product besides the sticky feeling and the off-guard color. But, yeah, so that's kind of the little buzz and review for the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. And this is also in the color Dolce. You guys need here. So now for the Morphe 350 palette. This is awesomely my favorite palette out there. And so basically with the shipping. So when I first went to go order it, I was going to order it. And I went and looked on I was looking at which palette I want to get. Because I was looking at all the other palettes. And then I seen it. And so I was like, okay, I'll get it the next day when I get money. I went to go order it the next day. It was all out of stock. And I basically learned that the 350 palette gets out of stock pretty easily quickly like within three days so uh, I turned on the post notifications on in, on their Instagram page so as soon as it got restocked I would be able to go and get it so as soon as they restocked I went and picked it up and I was super duper excited and they kind of send you like an email confirmation like of saying okay this is when you're gonna get it and they said I should not expect it for about two to three weeks which I was pretty surprised and also bummed at the same time so I kind of understood though because it's such a high-end product and everyone's getting it and I could understand like if it's selling out that quick I've Assuming so many people are getting it. But I was actually so surprised when it arrived at my door, like, literally in the next week. Even less, I would say, like, it arrived, like, five days the next day. So it was super exciting when I got it. I was super excited. It was just everything I imagined. So this is just basically how it looked. And it came in a nice box. I have the box right here. It just arrived in this box. And then there's, like, bubble wrap in it, which I think is super nice of them to do. Like, some makeup complaints will just ship you makeup with no bubble wrap, and then it's all broken by the time it gets there. But, yeah, that's just how it came, and then when you unwrap it, it's just a box. And, actually, I was expecting it to, like, be bigger, but I guess in pictures they look bigger. But it was it was still great. And then when you open it, it's kind of hard to open right here on the bottom. So, when you open it, it has, like, this uh, thing. I, I don't know if it's going to blare out the lights. But, yeah, it's just, like, this being the protector over it, which I still leave over it. And then these are all the colors that it comes with, if you guys could see. They're super cute. And I really love all these colors. When I first seen it, like I seen it before I even ordered it and all over Instagram, because it was just all over my Instagram feed before I even ordered it. So I thought it wasn't like mainly staying on these like warm brown side colors, just because like I never was out of the box person with like oranges and all these bright pinks and everything. I really like the burgundy colors, and I was just never like an out-of-the-box person with those. So it's like, okay, I probably won't ever use the oranges or touch them. But i literally been playing with this palette now ever since I got it. And when I first put them on, I was so surprised. Because, like, I used to have this Ulta Rose Gold palette. And, like, I usually had to pick up, like, at least, like, three taps of, like, the color to, like, just make it pop out. I literally, I did that three, like, I put the insert the brush in. Like, let me demonstrate to you guys real quick. So, I answered the brush, and uh, what color was it? It was, I think it was this color, and I, like, dabbed it in three times, and then I went on, and I was like, oh my gosh, that was way too much. So, that's really nice about it. It picks, up, like, a lot of product goes on, like, literally one dab, because it's super pigmented. They're super creamy. They're super duper easy to blend. Like, one time I got a lot, a lot of one color, like, in my inner corner. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much. This is a nightmare. And all I did was keep blending, and it blended out very, very beautifully. And, like, a lot of the colors in here, they all, like, coordinate together very, very nicely, which I really like. Um, they have so many shimmers to choose from. Like, it's super exciting every day. I do my eyeshadow palette. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to choose a new shimmer. This one right here, though, has to be my favorite shimmer. All the shimmers are super pigmented, let me tell you that. The shimmers will last you all day. The shimmers go on, like, so nicely and easily. And they're just, they're, they're so pigmented and creamy. You just have to pick up this palette. It's super nice. If you guys cannot tell, I'm giving this a highly good review. And I'm in love with this product. And I totally recommend it to you guys. Um, I literally have no negatives about this product at all. I think the Morphe 350 palette is amazing. This is some, this is my first Morphe palette I have ever had. So, I'm like, obviously, really, like, 
happy and excited that it was super great. I would definitely, I'm definitely going to order from Morphe again, you know, maybe after this palette's up, get more. Um, yeah, that's basically everything good about this product. This product's good. The eyeshadows are creamy, everything is just so good, and it gives you such, like, a big selection, so you could do, like, a million looks every single day. I really like these two burgundy colors right here. I think they're super pretty. This sparkle right here is so pigmented. I am telling you guys right now. It's like super pigmented when it's on your eyes. I had a swatch of it earlier before I started filming this video, but it's it's all messed up. And then these oranges right here, like you think like you would think like, oh, there's no way how would I wear orange in an everyday look? Like, that's what I thought. But there's just so many colors in here you could blend and mix and match with. I love putting like these burgundy maroon colors like in my crease. Everything just looks super great. So I think it looks great. And I would definitely give the Morphe 35 Bow Palette a 10 out of a 10 product review. Thumbs up completely. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick, a 9 out of a 10. And I think these products are really great. I could definitely see why they're highly raved about through all of social media. I would recommend them to you guys. If you're watching this video and you're wondering if you should pick up these products, just because, like, you don't want to may take the run for your money. The Morphe 35 Bow Palette, I think, is not a huge run for your money at all. The only run for your money is in the shipping. The shipping's like $8, and the product's only like $20. And you can find so many, like, discount codes through Instagram and YouTube, just anywhere you could literally find them. I found one, and I got, like, $4 off, off of this palette, so it was only, like, 18 or 17 bucks, which was super, super fun. And, yeah, I think it's great. This one is amazing. It's not really a run for your money. I mean, thinking about like when you go to Sephora and you look at like the Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Chocolate Bar palettes or the Too Faced, just all those are the Naked palettes. This palette, I feel like, I feel like it's a better investment. It comes with more colors and more color choices. Super pretty colors. Not saying that those palettes aren't great, but this one comes with a lot of color choices for like a cheap run. You could get like two Morphe palettes for the price of one of those. So I would definitely recommend the Morphe 35 palette. I have nothing but good things to say about Morphe 35 No, I do not sponsor them in any way. But, yeah. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. I, I mean, I would also recommend this. Maybe I'm just super picky about how it feels sticky. It only did feel sticky. Maybe I applied too much that time. But, yeah. So, these are just the two products. <laughs> these are just the two products I reviewed for you guys today. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys thought of this video. If you guys would like to see more review videos on my channel, be sure to check out all my social media if you guys would like to see more in-depth pictures of this. My Instagram is at Lexi underscore Mariah 18. And then you'll find all the links to all my other social medias through there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's been said and done.